Good afternoon. How's everyone doing? My name is Thomas Isakovich. I'm the founder and CEO with Nimbus Data. And today I'm going to be talking about exabyte scale flash and how that can be achieved with the OCP environment. So just a quick introduction to who Nimbus Data is. So our mission is to empower data-driven innovation. Uh, we've developed technology that's designed to fully harness the potential of flash memory. We have two classes of products. We have what we call the ExaFlash All Flash Arrays. And then we have a new product called ExaDrive, which is a high capacity, energy efficient solid state drive. The company is privately held. We're headquartered in Irvine, California. And today we have over 200 customers spanning internet infrastructure, media entertainment, high performance computing, and government markets. So I want to talk a little bit about what we call scalable SSDs. Uh, if you look at the workloads that customers are running and increasingly running, things like artificial intelligence or big data, machine learning, ever richer digital content, obviously there's a demand for very fast, very scalable and reliable storage. But at the same time, organizations must contend with escalating operating costs, escalating capital expenditures as well. And what we've seen is as NVMe drives, NVMe SSDs, get faster and faster and faster, and nearline hard drives get bigger, but no faster, there's a widening gap, a widening gap in the price performance and reliability curve between SSD technology and HDD technology. And what's gonna fill that gap? It's not gonna be 10,000 RPM hard drives or 15,000 RPM hard drives. Uh, it's not going to be existing low-end SATA SSDs. They don't provide the capacity to do so. So we're proposing a new class of SSD, what we call a scalable SSD. Now, unlike existing SSDs, a scalable SSD is optimized for capacity, for power efficiency, and for endurance. It's not optimized for performance. And so it's designed to reduce operating cost, to enable greater rack consolidation and to complement nearline HDDs, which would serve as a tier three solution, and NVMe SSDs, which would serve as a tier one solution. What we're proposing is flash as tier two. So yesterday we announced and unveiled the ExaDrive DC series. This is a new class of solid state drive, record breaking capacity, unmatched energy efficiency, superior reliability, perfectly balanced read and write performance, and a 42% lower total cost of ownership than existing enterprise SSDs that are on the market. So I'd like to tell you a little bit about this new product. Well, first and foremost, what's so exciting about this product is its sheer size. This is a 100 terabyte single SSD. It's the highest capacity SSD ever produced. This SSD is currently sampling with customers and will ship in production in the summer of this year. It offers over three times the capacity of the closest SSD competitor who just a month ago claimed the world record holder title, uh, only to lose it about 30 days later. It's about eight times the capacity of the biggest hard drive on the market today. So as a media device, it is the single highest capacity media device ever created, really of any media. Now to put that in perspective, 100 terabytes, it's about 20 million songs. That works out to about half of the catalog in all of Spotify on a device that you can hold in your hand or put in your back pocket. 20,000 HD movies, to put that in perspective, that's 4.6 years of straight binge watching with no sleep of HD content. Or 2,000 iPhones worth of data, again, in a device you can hold in your hand or put in your back pocket. What's also remarkable about this device is what it doesn't do. 
It doesn't consume very much power. It's the most energy efficient SSD ever produced. It draws about 10 watts of power at idle, about 15 watts of power under an active workload. And to put that in comparison, that works out to as little as 0.1 watts per terabyte. That's about 85% lower power consumption per terabyte than the closest competing SSD on the market. Now, as many of you may already know, SSDs have a finite lifespan, and that lifespan is constrained by write endurance. Most SSDs support one or three, or maybe in some rare cases, 10 drive writes per day. With this technology, we have very advanced ECC capabilities in the drive, combined with the sheer size of the drive in terms of its capacity, that there is no write endurance restriction with ExaDrive. You can write this from the day you get it and keep writing it without stopping for five years and you will not wear out this drive. And if somehow the laws of physics don't apply and you do wear out the drive, it's not your problem because there's a five-year warranty on the drive regardless of how many terabytes you write. The drive also has embedded power protection using tantalum capacitors. Uh, it has a two and a half million hour MTBF rating and also supports encryption and secure erase. Now another thing you probably know about SSDs is that they are exceptional at reads, uh, but not nearly as exceptional at writes. This technology, because of our multiprocessor architecture internally, allows us to get equally balanced read and write performance. So from a single drive, we'll get upwards of 100,000 IOPS on reads, as well as 100,000 IOPS on writes, and about 500 megabytes per second on reads, 500 megabytes per second on writes. Now, I know those numbers may not seem stellar compared to an NVMe SSD, but keeping in mind that this draws about one-tenth the power of an NVMe SSD and has about 12 times the capacity of the closest NVMe SSD, you can see that we simply change our priorities. Our priority is capacity, endurance, and energy efficiency. The goal here is to provide a tier two alternative to aging nearline hard drives. So one question we get about is about this three and a half inch form factor that we use. And the reason we use a three and a half inch form factor is because it's plug and play compatible with existing nearline hard drives. You know, it's our view that have, out of the 40 million nearline hard drives that have shipped just last year, that at least 10% of those need the performance of flash, or at least something significantly better than HDD performance. Now, those enclosures are out there. Those slots are already out there. You're not going to see an NVMe hard drive. So SATA and 3.5 inch and SAS, these interfaces are going to continue to exist for a very long period of time. Why not make something that is plug and play compatible with that existing form factor? So that's what we've done. You can take this drive wherever you currently have a three and a half inch hard drive and put in the extra drive, multiply your performance, your capacity, while maintaining the same power consumption. So, of course, flash has a, has a price premium over hard drives. And our goal is not to be cost per gig competitive with nearline hard drives. Our goal is to be cost competitive with existing enterprise SSDs but to offer a substantially lower total cost of ownership than existing enterprise SSDs. And the way we do that is by first providing unlimited endurance for five years, something that competing SSDs can't do. 85% lower power consumption, 85% lower cooling costs, 85% less rack space, as well as a general reduction in capital expenditures by eliminating enclosures, eliminating cables, eliminating administrative complexity, and also reducing the number of hardware refreshes you need to do. So this table here takes a look at the highest capacity SSDs currently on the market uh, from the big five uh, SSD vendors. We look at HGST, Micron, Samsung, Seagate, and Toshiba. And on these metrics, 
you can see some pretty, uh, pretty exciting advantages for the ExaDrive architecture. We can offer anywhere from three to 12 times the capacity while offering 80 to 90% lower power consumption per terabyte. We can offer unlimited endurance. We can achieve nearly 100 petabytes of raw flash in a single rack cabinet. And we can do so with either a SATA or a SAS interface with a five-year warranty. So today, just behind you in the Flex booth, uh, A22, we have on display there their 2U, uh, I'm sorry, 2OU, uh, 45 drive OCP chassis. This can accept 45 three and a half inch drives. We have the ExaDrive DC100, that's our 100 terabyte drive. Combining those two together, fully populated, four and a half petabytes of flash in a two uh, OU form factor. And that, like I said, works out to approximately 100 petabytes in just one OCP rack. And I'm pleased to mention that while my back pockets are small, my jacket pockets are just the right size. So this is what ExaDrive looks like. 100 terabytes, standard HDD form factor, plug and play. We see this as the beginning of continuing to push HDDs into a archival workload offering customers an exciting alternative to NVMe where they can achieve much higher capacity with much lower operating cost. Thank you very much, and like I said, come check it out at A22, the Flex booth right behind us. Thank you.